Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. A few Unify OS updates ago, we saw a new controller pop up into our dashboard, and that controller was Unify Innerspace. I did quickly go over it in another video, but we're going to do a full dedicated video to it. Unify Innerspace is pretty much design center, but it takes all the devices currently in your network and already places it into the Innerspace, and then we could upload a floor plan put walls on and the APs actually show us some statistics as well as the cameras. Now the AP and the camera statistics are a part of a release candidate version of 1.0.12 and that's the one that I'm going to be using today. If you'd like to support my channel the best way to do so is I have Ubiquity affiliate links which are in the description below. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting visit my website at mactelecomnetworks.com and I do have a Discord server if you want to be more involved in the community. Now let's jump into Unify Innerspace. So now we're inside of the Unify Innerspace controller and you can see currently we have no floor plans in it which we'll need to get there. But first off we could see on the right hand side all of our devices that are in my controller or that were in my controller. I currently don't have the connect display on my network as well as some of these other Unify access devices but I do plug them in from time to time when I'm doing testing. So what we need to do first, we need to upload a floor plan. So I'll click on upload floor plan and I just found one from the internet, but you could upload your own. If you don't have a floor plan, there's tons of great apps on the iOS store or on the Android store. And one that I've used before is called Magic Plan. When we click on upload a floor plan, it's going to ask us for our name and it will grab our Unify OS name by default. And that's called Mac Telecom SE. I'm going to name this main floor. We're going to select to upload a floor plan and this could be a JPEG, a PNG or a PDF file. Once I have the image within it, you'll see a little preview and then we'll click on upload. Now Unify Innerspace is giving us some tool tips. It says set your ceiling height and floor plan scale for accurate coverage depiction. So let's do the ceiling height first. And my ceilings are about nine feet. So we'll click nine and we'll change that to feet and then we'll press save. Now for our floor plan scale, we're gonna click on floor plan scale and we're gonna draw a line. And we can see this patio is 16 by 16. So I'm gonna click on the patio and go across and we'll just say that it's 16 feet. Now the next steps for us to do is to draw in our walls and our windows. We could either do it by a room and if we say select concrete, we could click and drag and it's gonna do a square. I'm gonna do it for walls and I'm gonna speed this up a little bit and you can see the end results. And this is the end results for this floor plan. We have a couple different materials that we could choose from. We could choose from glass, we could choose from drywall, and we could choose from concrete. You could see the glass in the blue, the concrete in this dark red, and then the drywall is in this lighter red or the pink. By drawing in your walls, it will show more accurately how far your Wi-Fi is going. So now the next step for us to do is to add our devices into this floor plan. We'll just start at the very top. I don't have these access controllers put in, so we're going to skip those. But I do have a U6 Enterprise in wall, and we're just going to put this over in the great room. Next, I have an AI bullet that's attached to my garage. So I'm just going to grab that and then I'm going to drag it on. We could see this little blue icon and that's going to let us change the angle view and it's just covering over my garage. Next, that's not seen in this drawing. I have a couple cameras in my backyard for my catio for my cat. So we'll do the same thing. We'll just move it and then we'll move the camera angle. I have a G3 flex that's actually inside of my garage. I have a G4 bullet as well that's attached to my garage. The dome is covering my porch area as well as a doorbell. So I'll put the dome over here and then the doorbell on the right hand side. Now we have one more camera that's a G5 flex and that's on the left side of my house. So I'll put that in the drawing and then we'll change the camera angle to reflect what it is. Now we still do have some other networking equipment that's on the right hand side. And I did put in a basement drawing so that we could add those to it. So we have my Mac Telecom SE, which is my firewall, and I'm going to place that in the crawl space. We also have my UNVR in the crawl space and then my PDU as well as all of my switches. One thing that would be nice for Ubiquity to add to this inner space is a rack that we could place all of our devices and then actually do the placement of where our switches and our firewall is. Currently, you just have to place the devices and it doesn't really give us any statistics. Now, there still are a few things to be worked out. If we click on the cameras, it is going to show us all of our camera views, which is great. I love that but it doesn't show up for my doorbell currently, so I think they still need to add that into Innerspace. We're also supposed to get some statistics about our cameras, so if we click on the display options, 
we could do the resolution and the frame rate. But when I click them on, it doesn't show anything. It just shows this little minus icon. Now, a few other things that we could do, we could show the device name, we could do the model, and then we could do the Wi-Fi channels. The Wi-Fi does seem to be working properly. So if we click on Wi-Fi, we're gonna see on my enterprise in wall that on our 2.4 gigahertz, we're on channel 11 and we could see the utilization. And then on our five gigahertz, we're on channel 161, we could see the utilization. And then on our six gigahertz, there's zero utilization currently. I also have the standard U6 Enterprise and we could see that it's representing all of those statistics. So we're on channel one for the 2.4, 40 for the five and then 37 for the six gigahertz. And we could see this little blue measuring icon that is showing us our utilization. Now, none of the switches, the UMVR or our UDM SE shows any statistics, but I assume they're gonna add that in the future. And that's gonna be it for this video on Unify Interspace. And I do think that it's a great addition into our Unify OSs. We'll be able to see visually how much Wi-Fi coverage we have, what the utilization is going to be, and hopefully they fix the camera issues and add some more device support so we could see some more statistics. There are a few things that you can't do compared to Design Center. So we can't do any cabling back to a rack. We still can't do multi-floor, and I don't believe we could do that in Design Center either. If you have any questions about Unify Interspace, leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.